god, there's so many of them. Oh my god, they're rising from the ocean. This is like my worst nightmare. Like, hang out at a beach, and then all of a sudden, there's a million zombies coming out of the ocean, ready to eat your face. I don't... I hope that never happens to me in real life, because that would... I would just poop my pants and die. It would not be pretty. Not at all. Hello everybody and welcome back to Honeybun Games. My name is Twisted and we just finished our research. That was right on cue. I love it. Alright, so now we have blue signs. Actually allows us to unlock the research radius. What do we need for blue science? Iron swords, bronze arrows, bows, and linen bags. That's a lot of things. So we definitely want to have at least 10 of these for the time being. We probably want to have more, of course. Let's take a look at the research. So, we have want to do ban radius really badly. It actually increases the radius to 40 blocks. Right now it's 30, I counted, so it's 30 blocks for the radius, which means if we moved our banner uh, 10 blocks into this direction, so we move it like over here-ish, we'd actually get 20 more blocks, which is about like here-ish, which is actually a lot of extra range. That's probably all the range I honestly need for the time being. Later on, it's gonna be... Like, our base is gonna be massive. We'll definitely build a big ship. That is my dream scenario. We'll definitely be doing that, like, in the port over here. We might be able to even reach that island over there with some safe areas if we just strategically position our banner, maybe, like, on a little raft between the two... Peninsulas? The range is gonna be quite, quite big. It's already quite, quite reasonable. Yeah, uh, but the problem is it requires 50 cycles of science. So it requires 50 of each bank, which is quite a, a lot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hire first, we're gonna hire another person, another dude over here. We're gonna hire another colonist. I hope he goes over here. That's my hope right now. Hope he goes over here. Hope he takes this job. Maybe he won't. Will, maybe he won't. And he is... I think he went into the mines, huh? Yeah, I don't see that one here. That's kind of a shame. We can easily probably hire another one. No problem. Oh, so we're gonna actually do... No, not the guard. Gonna hire another colonist. Not enough... Oh, never mind. I didn't recruit anyone because they didn't have free beds. That is entirely my mistake. Also, while we're over here, I'm gonna go into this location. I'm gonna make, tell you, hey, you know what? You should make not five beds. You should make, like, ten beds. We have the materials. We probably will have them at one point. So let's get a bed, wanna have a bed probably over here. Just like that. Let's actually have like three of them over here. Looks okay. Let's hire a dude now. And see where he goes. Think he went into the mines? Cause I don't see him. No, that's him, right? No, I don't know. I'm gonna get another one as well, cause again, we have enough food. For the day. Yeah, we have enough to survive a whole day. We're gonna get more food still because we are still grinding down. No, we're not grinding down because we actually used up all our wheat. And we don't have a wheat harvest coming anytime soon. That could be an issue. Do have some berries still. Again, I think it might be time to invest in another wheat farm. Might not be the worst idea I've ever had. I should go do that right now. Uh, probably want to actually get some grass. We don't have that much grass, huh? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's gonna be all the way there. We don't have enough grass to cover that entire area. Or about over here, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be enough, huh? Be able to get a. Is it just me or do days last less? Or are days a lot a lot shorter? It feels like the days are a lot shorter. I have no idea why, why I feel like that. Maybe it's it's true. Not quite sure. There we go. That's gonna be another wheat farm. Do we even have the seeds? We have the seeds. We're gonna actually hire someone to do that, but probably gonna do it in the morning. I see won't be able to have time to actually do anything. We could plant the wheat ourselves while we wait. It's gonna be a bit tedious, honestly. Let's actually go take a peek over here. Just like cover all of these. They do grow on their own, right? I think they actually do. It's kind of annoying because you can't actually plant it like this because you just keep covering. There's a cooldown between planting 
sometimes I think it depends on your frames or something that really makes sense it's, sometimes it skips blocks so it's not ideal and also zombies gonna start spawning very soon under my feet okay we should probably run back oh my god they're everywhere I don't like that yeah we 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 really need that banner size increase we really really do how are we doing with our bags we have eight of actually we almost have ten of each so let's actually raise the limits to 50. Let's raise the limits to 50 of each. 50, 50, 50. Make them all the same priority, doesn't really matter which ones you make. Oh, we need flour for the life science bag? Okay, so we definitely need more wheat. That's, that's actually a big, big important thing. We do definitely need more wheat, it seems. These guys are gonna get annoying. There's actually a lot of zombies nowadays, but we have a lot of guards here. They should be able to take them all out. That major issues. They can take them out, no problem. There's, there's some ones that are faster, but they're not really that fast. And yeah, these guys are like very speedy. So the gray ones have 100 HP. These ones have... I think it's 250. Or... I think it's 100 to 50 and 500 for their HPs, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure if I'm wrong. Please correct me on that. I, I know they're like there's three tiers of uh, of HP and three tiers of speed so I'm guessing speed is not doesn't speed people speed people don't have a different shirt HP people do have a different shirt so we have like the gray shirt for the slowest ones well, for the lowest HP ones we have the green shirt for medium HP and thankfully we haven't had any mega tanks yet but, but, they, but they're gonna be really annoying and at one point we want to actually have these slow zombies at all we're gonna just have speedy ones. And even the speedy ones that we have right now are not speedy, they are just like normal speed. These are just slow dudes over here. We might as well help out our dudes a bit by smacking some zombies in the face. Alright, while we do that, so we'll be moving our banner 10 blocks, right? Let's actually designate that location. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's actually gonna be over here where this block is. That's gonna be our new banner location. It's actually like quite a nice hill. It's gonna move the... It's gonna, those, so those borders are gonna stay the same because it's ocean and we don't really care about expanding that in that direction. And the other borders are gonna move 20 blocks, which is gonna allow us to completely wall this off and actually completely move our entrance gates to a better location. And that way our guys will never be at risk because they will never be able to spawn. And I'm also guessing that it might indirectly reduce the amount of zombies that actually spawn. Because right now, they spawn within like a certain radius of our like vision or something, but they don't spawn in our area. But as we increase our area, there's less room where they can spawn. So it might actually reduce the amount of zombies that actually appear. That might not be the case, it might be in um, not related to that at all. But even if it's not, that means they're gonna spawn more densely, which is gonna make them easier to kill. Which I do like. We also want to probably like clear out the water, uh, clear out any like low hills on water because they can't spawn underwater now, which is causing me some issues. They're going all the way around, which I don't like at all. Yeah, they're not getting close at all. Like we have too many people here. It's obvious. You just die before they even get anywhere close, which is fine. All right, food is actually really low. We do want to fix that. We will have a harvest. In the morning and while these guys are I think they stopped spawning I think it might be prime time for me to actually go plant some more stuff yeah these things do grow without actually any control which is awesome didn't want to plant you here so I just delete you for from existence get these things filled up that's gonna help us out a bit again you don't even need farmers to farm you can just farm yourself but then you have to harvest everything by hand and that is like really annoying and I don't want to do that so I'd rather hire some people and feed them in exchange for their labor. There we go. We can easily get one more farm with all the seeds we have. Alright, make sure there's no more zombies that are gonna be harassing our peeps. I think we're fairly safe. I don't see anyone at all. Make sure, wanna we check the outside wall here. Yeah, we are, no, we're not good. Never mind. Punch this guy in the face a few times, he should die easily. Yeah, there we go. Alright, awesome. Good, good stuff. So now, um, we really want to get more food. Because we don't have enough food to survive the entire day. 
Problem is we're making science bags. I'm gonna actually go make the priority on those super low. Yeah, because I don't want to be using stuff around plate. Yeah, make these first, then these, then these. I'm not sure we have 50 of each before we start doing anything interesting with them. Alright, so the problem seems to be... Yeah, you have no... What do you require? You're making bread, right? You're making the flour. We have 12 flour. The problem is, like, they try to make stuff, but they are out of resources, so then they don't really do anything for a while. Okay, I really want to hire another person. I could just hire, fire the berry farmer. I could just fire the flax farmer, honestly. But the problem is, then I there's no way easy way to just recreate the flax farm, because we have blocks of fla of a flax that are in the way. You have to harvest them first. Just go over here. All right. So since these zombies are gonna be spawn, are gonna be removing our borders. I think it might not be the worst idea to actually just preemptively start walling this off, you know? So we're gonna just leave a block here. Because otherwise they'll be able to just climb onto a wall that's gonna suck a lot. Just gonna like cover the coast here. Because again, we will be filling this up with planks later on. No, don't give me this. This is gonna prevent them from actually coming this way. You have to go all the way around, which might actually be bad for us. But I don't think it's gonna be bad. I think it's gonna actually be fairly good. I definitely wanna go like all the way over here with the walls. Maybe even more. Depending on how far we're gonna get. We're gonna get 10 blocks of room, right? I get like one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of room actually. Let's just expand a few blocks this way still. I don't wanna go too far. Because they can't spawn on these planks. I want to be careful about that. Honestly, I'll just do this. Because I will be doing this anyways at one point, right? Might as well follow the natural coast for the time being. Don't do that. Please fill up. Thank you. Um, I kind of want to make this... Do we need sand? Like, the only way to get sand is... Can you get sand? Can you, like, mine sand? I never tried that. Uh, miner. I can't mine sand. The only way to get sand is to pick it up manually, right? So I want to actually make this coast a bit nicer. Right now it's a bit weird, you know? I can actually just take out some sand from here, I guess. Take us that long. Just make sure it doesn't look super unnatural. Still want it to look fairly nice. Again, we're doing this while we wait for all our science bags to be crafted. We are 20, 10, 10 already. I want to be at 50, 50, 50 before we start doing some more science stuff. Alright, so now we can actually take all the sand that we gathered and just make this into like a nicer little coast line here. Something like this. Again, this is not perfect by any means because I probably want to have it like not be as jarring as it is right now. Maybe make it a bit sharper over here. Again, this is completely unimportant in the uh, whole scope of things. I do like doing this. Yeah, I think this is gonna look good. All right, let's just start filling this hole. This is a little lake over here. We definitely do want to fill it in. Sand. Just make sure it's like a double edge over here. I'm gonna actually just cover all of this with special plank walls. I don't want to go too far. And I just want it to be a little bit more natural so we have a little bit more room to build later on once we get cracking over here. All right, food is looking better. We actually do have some flour and we also have a lot of wheat, so we might just consider getting more bakers, you know? And this is so done now. We will need to sort of more of these things. Well, I kind of guess I'll be removing a lot of the sand from here anyways at one point. Might as well start doing it now. Just like this. Just keep moving sand. Yeah, there's no easy, there's easy ways to get every block in the game, I think, except sand. Because there's no way to harvest it automatically. Make sure this all goes away. I'm gonna start spawning soon. Which is gonna be a problem. It's okay. 
think we have enough to actually fill in this massive hole. Do we have the time? I don't know. Whole different thing. Just like... Yeah, we do not have enough. All right. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. I can fill this in later on. Ooh, I just want to do a few more. Oh, we it just missed a few blocks here, huh? We'll actually don't need to worry about the proper sand edge here, right? Because we can just do this. It starts spawning real soon. I can see it. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, they're already coming. All right. It's kind of bad. Everyone's running away. That's good. All right. Uh-oh. Don't be here. This is a bad location to be. All right. Run home. Okay. Don't you dare climb where I don't want you to climb. Go back home. No. Okay. That, okay that's one of my guys. All right. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I was a zombie. Did scare me a little bit. Okay, so I think we now we actually have the fastest zomb fastest zombies. So we have yeah, these are these guys are really fast. So these are not we have the slowest ones, we have the fast one, we have the fastest ones. And there's not a lot of them. That guy sees he's very HP heavy. I hope they don't start causing any problems. These guys are all slow. I saw like a speedy boy over there. Yeah, this guy's really fast. They're both really fast. Yeah, we don't want to have anything over here because then they'll we'll just walk into our base. Without any issues. Still want them to come this way. I, I should actually fix that by adding another extra block over here. Oop, sorry, I kicked my microphone for a second there. Adding this and then adding this, right? Yeah, they, they can't come in now. Actually looks a bit nicer. They'll have to go all the way around, which actually I don't want. Because if you do that, they will be able to, they will just stay alive for too long. And just, oh, there's so many of them, oh my god, they're rising from the ocean. This is like my worst nightmare. Like, hang out at a beach, and then all of a sudden, there's a million zombies coming out of the ocean, ready to eat your face. I don't, I hope that never happens to me in real life, because that would, I would just poop my pants and die. It would not be pretty. Not at all. Alrighty, it's daytime again. All our workers are working. They're doing their jobs quite, quite well. And I realized we have actually a lot of flour. I don't think we can manage to get all the flour taken care of every day. Um, that's good because we also need to use it on life bags. But we also are kind of low on food. So we can actually go hire another person here uh, for the other farm. Because he has a farm to harvest. It's going to give us a lot more food. Like, I think it's almost an entire farm's worth, maybe? Yeah, there's still a few of them missing, but they probably uh, grow by the time he actually gets here and does his job. Also want to make sure... Okay, here's a crate here. Awesome. Our forestry dude is doing his job as well. I just want to do more forestries over time. All right, let's see what else we can do here. We have... How are we doing with our science bags? We have 25 blue ones, 14 green ones. So why are we not making more blue science bags here? We're making red ones. And yeah, they're number one. Priority priority list. And we have 24. Copper tools. Linen bag as our low. Why do we not have any linen bags? You only make like 10, right? Yeah. Um, well, want to make at least 50 bags. And want to make at least 150 linen then, I guess. Makes sense. Needs a linen. Linen is needs flax. This guy's really slow. That's I think a big problem. The tailor takes a while to do anything, and this like we are super low on bags, empty bags. We bag bend in a plastic bag. Yeah, I know. Uh, and really not doing any science. I think it's probably a good idea to maybe even start doing science crossbow bolts. I do like the idea of them, but I think it's gonna allow us to. Defend our base a bit better, and he, this guy can do a, like a lot of good stuff. It's gonna take him a while, anyways. Might as well start using the research immediately while we can. Why are you not doing anything over here? What are you trying to do? Steel ingot. Well, we don't have those, so that's okay. Um, probably in stockpiles, you're in stockpile, you need a wrought iron, iron ingots, steel parts. Apparently, you don't have enough materials for this. You should have those. Interesting. Yeah, we have a lot of flour. We have a lot of food as well. We might be able to hire another dude. Easily. 
You have a lot of flax to in stockpile. The problem is like linen takes so long. It's kind of crazy. Um, let's get another bed. Do we not have any beds? I guess we do not. All right. I guess I want to make beds a priority num level two if possible instead of number one. Just make me some beds if you can. It's fairly important that we have beds. Over here we're trying to make something, but we don't have any charcoal. Made enough charcoal, so you're not actually doing anything over here. We could just fire you and make you become a tailor instead, you know? Because we don't really need your services right now. Yeah, I'm gonna just fire you, honestly. You're not doing anything useful for me at the moment. I'm gonna fire you and gonna just rebuild this immediately as soon as you start working. Now, don't stand here, you nerd. Can't... Okay, there we go. Awesome. So now he's gonna be become a tailor and it's gonna be un an empty job, but that's okay. Because we need more bags, really important stuff. We cannot keep up with the demand for bags. And we have enough food to survive a day, which is always good. Bread is coming in quite nicely, which is also very good. We might want to hire another baker as well, but I want to build a separate bakery building before we do stuff like that. I keep that in mind. It's coming in nicely. These things are growing as well. Gonna be harvesting more stuff. It's gonna be a bit uneven, but I don't think that's really bad to have an uneven field, honestly. I think it's gonna be fairly, fairly okay. Don't you worry about that. All right. Food is looking good. We just need more bags. 11 bags in the bag. Science is also coming along slowly, but we are getting to it at one point. Again, there's not that much research in the game. We are already, I'd say, a fifth of the research is done. Of course, it, they're gonna take longer and longer, but it's also gonna become bigger and bigger. As long as we have enough food to sustain our colony, we should have no problems just uh, hiring more people to do the jobs. Which I do like quite a bit. Because we definitely do need more food, and we definitely do need more people. I think I need to invest in more farms, because uh, I haven't really been doing that, but before we do farm stuff, I really, really wanna expand my borders so I can safely have these guys do some stuff normally. Also, we do need more farms, obviously. Because we just do. We really, really do need more farms. And I don't know where we're gonna place them. I guess we could place them over here, but we'd need to just cover this in grass instead. Place them all the way in the forest, but that seems really dangerous and I'm not sure I really wanna mess with that. Because they may not be able to come home on time. We have a separate track for them. With a separate guard, but that might be too much for like one guard to take care of. He might be in total trouble, which would suck a lot. This is soon enough. As long as these guys are making their clothing and bags properly, we'll be fine. As long as we have enough flax to sustain that, which I don't think we will, because we have 34 flax left. We need to have like a 150 linen. It's gonna be a problem. Cars are getting to their spots. Yeah, we need to have more food, so we need another farm definitely and we will definitely need another flax farm because what we have right now is not enough and we do have enough flax to get another one going mm. we have some grass here we can just take some of it no it's gonna be ugly then uh one two this is like ten I wanna actually go get oh okay they're spawning it's kind of nasty now when I wanna actually get another flax tool over here it's gonna fit perfectly between these two we just need more flags, otherwise we won't be able to sell our, our clothing. And no clothing means no science bags, no science bags means no science done, and no science done means no border expansion, which is what I really, really want. I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be super exciting. Because we'll actually just start building up our peninsula here into a proper base with a proper wall over there on that side. That is the plan. But yeah, I'm going to actually just end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comments. Leave a like, your support, and all that jazz. And I will see you next time.